These different foot solutions allow you to finish off your build and add different things like mobility, protection, adjustability, and more. Today we're going to showcase these different options so you can get ideas for how they can take your build to the next level. At the very end, I'm going to share what I think to be the most underrated solution, so be sure to stick around for that. First, we're going to start simple with these inexpensive plastic end caps. These are great project feet and install really easily. You should be able to just push them in by hand, but if you have trouble, you can tap them with the hammer or deburr the conduit in to make the process smoother. If you do deburr the pipe ends, the cap tends to pop out easier, which actually could be more of a benefit than a disadvantage depending on your project, but regardless, you should keep that in mind. This specific version of the cap also works best on pipes that sit flush with the surface, but they do make some other variants of these that you can do some cool stuff with. The set angle and dome version of the caps allow the pipes in your build to be angled because it compensates for the difference. This is great because you could do a unique leg like this and no longer have to worry about the pipe edge digging into your floor. These rubber pipe feet are another classic and inexpensive option that works well on both carpet and hardwood floors. Just like the plastic end caps, they're pretty easy to install by hand. Since they're rubber, they can fight back a little bit, so it helps to twist as you push or pull them on and off. Also because they're rubber, they greatly reduce the chance of your build sliding around on hard surfaces, which is an added bonus to the soft cushion that they provide. We carry these black ones on our website, but you can also find a ton of other variations in different places online. I've seen clear ones, they have white ones, they even have some that are low profile, they have some that add a wider base. There's all sorts of different options that might be better suited for your project. This is a good time to mention that you want to make sure to keep in mind the actual outer and inner diameters of the pipes that you're using in your build when searching for foot solutions of your own. There's no reason to dive deep into it now, but basically the listed trade size of pipes like PVC or conduit usually aren't the actual diameters. This means you might accidentally order a foot that is too big or small for the pipe that you're building with. We've got a blog with the actual conduit diameters. I'll link that down below if you need to reference it. Speaking of correct measurements, you might find that some of the pipes in your project are too short. Instead of settling for a wobbly build, you can stack a couple of washers and put them inside the rubber pipe feet to add some vertical height back to your project. You can also use these for horizontal pipe feet as well, and they slightly elevate the conduit off of a hard surface. This is especially useful if you've got a connector on the horizontal pipe that touches the ground and causes your build to be wobbly. The next option is easy, but only works if you're using shrink wrap in your build. You can heat up the excess wrap and push it into the pipe to cover the outer edge and create a simple foot that doesn't really cost any extra money because you're already using the wrap. Now before we go to the next solution, I want to shout out a couple of creative ideas that we've seen in the community. Chris designed these 3D printed feet to stabilize and offset horizontal pipes in his build. In Randy's project, the rubber pipe feet were baking in the sun and becoming brittle, so he designed these for long-term outdoor use. This one comes from Sparkatech9 on Instagram who made a really unique coffee table and used off-the-shelf couplings with corks to create these feet for the project. I'll leave a link to those two prints down below, along with some other great 3D printable designs shared by other community members in the past. The next solution that we're going to talk about has an insane amount of potential for all sorts of different things. These are threaded nut inserts that essentially allow you to add a threaded mounting point to the end of the pipe in your build. With one of these installed, you'll have the option to use countless different foot solutions. Basically, anything that has a stud attached to it can be threaded into the conduit end. This is amazing because you can add carriage bolts or adjustable feet for uneven surfaces. You can use stemmed casters for rolling around your project. They even make swivel feet and you can use them on pipes that sit at an angle. And the list goes on and on. Now, Some of these more unique solutions can be expensive, but they don't have to be. MKE Gadgets repurposed some old hockey pucks that he had laying around. Recycling materials for something like this is a great way to make sure that you don't have to foot the bill. When using these inserts with different feet, you want to make sure to use the ones with the lip. The non-lipped version will continue to push farther inside of the pipe as you add weight on top of the build. You also want to make sure to match the threads of your foot solution to the threaded pipe insert. For example, if you get 3816 inserts, you want to make sure that your swivel foot or caster stem also has 3816 threads. Speaking of casters, we have a 3 inch set on the website that comes with 3D printed inserts that you hammer into conduit ends. We sell these plastic inserts separately if you'd like to source your own wheels. You can search for the inserts on the website and I'll also link them down below. Next, let's talk about using flanges as project feet. You can use the ones that we manufacture or the DIY flanges that we've mentioned in the past and these will add a larger base to your build. In doing so, you're going to increase the overall stability of the project by a good amount even if you aren't utilizing the mounting holes to secure your build to something. You might be thinking, Jake, I thought we were supposed to be protecting our floors. 
I would be put metal flanges on the pipes. And I'm glad you asked because it's time to shout out what I believe to be the underdog hero of Project Feet. They are adhesive felt pads. You might be thinking that's kind of lame, but these are insanely cheap and simple, yet work fantastic for a number of reasons. You can put them directly on vertical or horizontal pieces of pipe for an ultra cheap solution that gets the job done. You can also combine them with pretty much any other option that we've talked about. Maybe you wanna add a circular one to the plastic end caps or rubber pipe feet. You could cut up these larger sheets that they give you to fit custom shapes like flanges, for example. These really shine on hard surfaces. But what if I told you that you could get felt pads, but in reverse? Well, these are carpet sliders and they pretty much do the same thing, except the soft adhesive side will attach to the conduit or foot and the smooth side makes it easy to slide your build across the carpet. They can be slightly more expensive than the regular felt pads, but they're still great options and open up some really cool possibilities. Just like with the flanges, the underdog can be used with all sorts of other foot solutions as well. These are hanger straps and normally allow you to attach conduit to flat surfaces and vice versa. Instead of doing that, you could add felt pads or carpet sliders to the bottom to give your build some elevation and create sliders for either surface. Another option is adding felt pads or carpet sliders to the bottom of these spring clips to create a slider foot that can be removed quickly. As you can see, there are plenty of good foot options out there, no matter what you need for your specific build. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.